if you want to get your eCam footage into Zoom without using virtual cam, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz here. I'm going to try to do this recording all in Ecamm Live. So I've seen on the uh, Ecamm Facebook forums and the, and the Facebook group that people are having challenges with Zoom and the latest version of Zoom and getting Ecamm footage in there. And the way people have been doing it is using the virtual camera. So let me record my screen here. And right here, I've got Zoom. You can see I'm on version 5.0. I'm signed into my Zoom. I'm going to start a new meeting. Join with computer audio. And if you look at my options here, I only have my FaceTime camera and my two USB capture cards. And I'll go into that in a second. So if I click on my USB capture HDMI and turn on my video, it's my... Sony a6400. All right, so let me uh, go ahead and turn off my video and double check the settings in Ecamm Live. If I go to output, my video monitor is my Blackmagic Video Assist here. So if we take a look at my iPhone, this is my Blackmagic Video camera. And I have my iPhone connected via USB into this hub and I have it as a source in Ecamm Live. So this is my iPhone 11 Pro. So I am I can see what's going out on the video monitor here. And that's what I wanted to get into Zoom. So let's go ahead and double check that. Go to Options, Virtual Cam, and it's on. So we can see that's on. Let's switch back over to Zoom. And on Zoom, if we go over here, we don't see the virtual camera. To get around this, I go to my video monitor and then select my Blackmagic uh, Video Assist. And then from my Video Assist, let me show you with my iPhone camera here. Uh, so I'm using Filmic Pro here. All right, so I've got my output going, or I've got a hub connected to my laptop here. And this laptop has HDMI out. And that HDMI, it, the HDMI out is going to my HDMI in, Blackmagic Video Assist. And my out is going into this Majewell Capture Card. And the Majewell Capture Card is going back into this hub as an input. Since it's going, the video is coming out, I set this up as a secondary display. So if I turn off my output here, you'll see that it's my extended desktop. Just go to settings to double check this. System preferences, displays, arrangement. And so this is my Blackmagic video design. I'm just doing this because I want to see what's coming out of Ecamm Live and I am going back into my capture card. So if I go back here to video monitor and output to that, and I'll see the output. So if I switch things like and then uh, let's say my desktop anything that I switch out in Ecamm Live comes out of here now I want that to go into Zoom so since this is acting as a capture card because it is it's now available in Zoom so if I go over to Zoom and I choose so I have two capture cards, one that's connected my, to my Sony a6400 and the other one that is getting the output of my HDMI from my, from my laptop. So if I select this and go live, now I'm sharing the desktop, it's going to infinity. But if I go over here in the selections, I can click my uh, MacBook webcam. I got my lower thirds. So if you want to learn how to make a enemy low thirds, check out my videos. And then here's the logo. Get out of live demo mode. 
All right, so that concludes my tip on how to get Ecamm footage into Zoom. Hopefully that helps. I know it requires an extra device, which is in my case, a major capture card, but it could be, you can be one of those lucky folks that have two capture devices. Or in fact, that if you're using a Sony camera or a Canon camera, if you're plugging directly into Ecamm Live, then you can take that extra capture card, plug it in as an output from your HDMI, feed that back into Zoom as a source, using the HDMI capture card, you'll just go into Zoom, select Cam Link or your, whatever your HDMI capture card is, and then you'll get Ecamm footage right back into Zoom. If this tip was helpful for you, I do tips like this and other live switching tips on my maystudios.com uh, YouTube channel. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe on the way out. Thanks for watching.